Okay, this is the, uh, we've prepped our end here. This is the polyester stiff material, F1 Havaset material. And we're going to put that right here beside the, uh, it's the MA, MAT 02H is the uh, number. Here's the jig. Good morning. And as you did before, find your idler. Put it about center between the studs on the uh, wing nuts. Line it up. And close your right, right side. Or if you're using, if you're left-handed and you're using the other side, do the left side. Okay. Again, you just make sure that Everything is straight. Now our material is long, which is not a problem. Because generally, you can buy this all in rolls. Or in the case of this uh, Habitat material, usually you buy it by the foot. So you can buy you know, a roll of 100 foot. You can buy a roll of 10 foot. Good. Yep, I am. Line it up. Pull it as tight as you want. Snug them down. Don't over tighten. Make your mark. Let the left side off a little. Now, this polyester is a little hard. You can use a pair of scissors on it. But I generally use the utility knife that's enclosed with it. I'll bring it back to there. Slide that piece of uh, stainless steel underneath there. Snug it. And then cut. It takes a few. You don't want to just do it all at once. And then remove your excess material. Close up your knife. Loosen the left side again. Hold on to the material. Remove your stainless steel 12 thousandths piece. And then proceed to turn it over. Because we have to have a wedge going the other direction. Just as before, bring it out that 3 eighths of an inch. Eyeball it. Doesn't have to be absolutely exact. Again, here's your sanding block. Here's the little wedge on that side. And you'll put that up here. Put this eventually will be down on the base plate. Bring it back where it's comfortable for you. Lean a little bit to the left until you start to feel it. Ah, and then I see I did straighten those. Make sure those are straight and in line with each other. So you've got room to sand. Just start that way and start leaning into it to the right. A 
long, easy strokes, not a lot of pressure, just a little bit to be able to sand. Until you're down on the base plate with the right side of the sanding block. It takes a minute, thereabouts. Just like you're using a hacksaw. It's a nice, easy stroke, full stroke. Not pushing too hard. until you know you're there. Bring it back around. Loosen it up. Pull it out. Flip it back over, make sure that you're, everything is the way it needs to be. And then get ready to line everything back up again. Now, this uh, F1 doesn't really give a whole lot. But just like that, you just get it up there. Really, it's pretty easy to work with, though. Line everything up. Tighten the left side down. You're ready to go. Take your two pieces of... Uh, It looks like it's just a tad crooked. That looks better in my book anyway. I lost it. That looks much better. <laughs> Shifted on me a little. Like I've said in the instructions, um, best thing to do is do some of these outside of the press or equipment that you're changing them on whether it be a collator, stitcher, trimmer, or a folder, or whatever you're doing it on. That looks good there. I've got the, that piece underneath there. Take your mighty adhesive, shake it up good. Get a brush full, put it on the bottom. Don't get real sloppy, but make sure that the uh, it's filled with adhesive all the way across it. And then when you're done, just lay it back down there. Make sure you put your cap back on. Put the wax paper on top. Bring it around. Now you can put it down there. You can actually see through it. Make sure you're straight and good. When you are, close it up. I'm putting my fingers on that because sometimes that tends to bow a little bit. And since it's not really stretchy, you just you need it as flat as possible. And now we'll wait the 15 minutes. 